guys, Bears Fan06 here, and today we're going to talk about uh, Super Fusion List. We're going to go over, um, for the most part, my top five uh, Super Fusions out of each list. Um, but on DefenderOfTexel.com, and I'll put a link right here and also in the video description, uh, Wonder TJ has a great Super Fuse uh, fodder list uh, available. I use it all the time. When people ask me what fodder they should use, um, I do uh, link them his list as well. Um, so if you have uh, an account on DefenderOfTexel.com, uh, just give him a, a vote up. Well, they call it reputation. So give him a plus one in reputation uh, for all his hard work, keeping that list up to date and creating it. Uh, it's an amazing uh, information tool for super fusing. And uh, you guys have to check it out. There's way more on the list than what I'm going to talk about. But uh, I just want to go with some of the top ones that I like. Um, and for each category, I will go over basically the 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 top end one now these are fodder fighters not fighters that are, are typically going to be um, always used I mean clearly you can get um, some of the legendaries and you could get three out of three or two out of two and you could super fuse them for more of the stat but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about fighters that you would theoretically use if you weren't crazy um, to waste something that's actually a good fighter but uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started we're gonna go with attack first um, as you can see, I finished up with Wisdom last. So that's what was left over there. Um, so the first fighter we're going to talk about is uh, Cadmain. Uh, Cadmain is a pretty amazing uh, attack fodder. He is the highest one that uh, TJ recommends, which would be 721 attack. Uh, overall, that's that's a great amount of attack. Now, he is the top end, so he's going to be fairly expensive. So to purchase one of them uh, is roughly about 120 bidders. I went through the search offer and, and basically gave a rough estimate um, some it might be a little bit less some it might be a little bit more depending on the time and, and uh, how many of them are left at that point because other people are super fusing them using them as fighters and etc so pricing does fluctuate next one um, this one is probably my personal favorite um, right now is uh, Torin I used him several times for attack fodder and uh, I'm blind and cannot find him where are you buddy Typically, this sort of attack works. I don't really want to sort by another one, but uh, give me a sec. There he is, hiding down there. Uh, Torn. Now, the awesome thing about this is he's still pretty much readily available, and I didn't want to click on it um, for the most part because he was in a recent event, which makes him easier. Torn adds 590 attack, um, which actually this is what I superfuse my dread with. Uh, 590 attack for each one. Uh, he's roughly about 40 bidders right now for him, which is great. Uh, that's a lot of attack for, for a very low price, in my opinion, um, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the next one in my attack list is Luck Draw. Luck Draw adds 560 in his air. Now, Luck Draw is roughly around 540 bidders, as, or not 540. He's roughly around 40 bidders as well. Uh, so obviously you'd buy Torn right now. Now the plot, the positive about Luck Draw is he's in Pixite, so he'll still be readily available, and his price is pretty much stabilized to where it'll be. Um, it won't really go any more, any less, because basically he's the the fallback attack fodder if you need attack fodder uh, at a at a solid price. The next one we're going to talk about is Ishum. Uh, he has 520 attack. And that is the red dog, and I don't think he's on page three. Might be on page three, but he has a total of 520 attack. Now, the nice part about him is he just came out a little bit ago, which is awesome. Um, he does have dual purpose uh, for attack or wisdom, really, to be honest with you. Um, price wise, is great. Uh, he's only roughly around 20 bidders. Um, this one's solid right now, I, in my opinion. I would definitely purchase this one currently now. Unless they re-release him, uh, his prices will eventually go up, which will make him more expensive, unfortunately. But right now, cost-effective wise, if you're not rich, uh, he might be one of your better options to go with. And last one is uh, Timat. This guy here is good too because he's in Pixite as well, so he's still readily available. Um, I've seen him for roughly around like 15 to 18 bidders, roughly. Uh, he has 462 attack. Um, so he's who I rank last in my in my top five for attack. Um, probably for the most part, I would either buy Torin or I'd buy the Red Dog Ishum. Um, those are my two favorites um, out of the attack right now. For HP, let's go to HP. Uh, the king of HP is is Grim Penis, obviously. 
Um, you could buy Uzdabar, the emulator guy. Unfortunately, he's way better uh, used for uh, raid boss and siege, so don't buy him and waste him. Um, but Grim Penis adds 702 uh, HP, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, he's roughly about 100 bidders, so he is fairly expensive, but uh, his amount of HP he adds is a really, really good amount. Um, now, he does have a counterpart, though, that barely adds uh, less HP. Uh, for a lot less in price, which I would personally purchase this guy over uh, Grim because of the price, basically. So where is he? Did I already pass him? Probably already passed him. He should be... There he is. The recolor of the polar bear. So, Mimuton. Uh, he adds a total of 673 attack. He's only roughly around 60 bidders. Definitely way better off buying this guy, uh, for sure. Because, it is barely, what is it? It's like 30... Roughly, basically, it's 29 exactly. 21, 29 HP difference for 40 bidders. Um, that's more than a bidder HP. Not worth it, in my opinion. Um, this guy is this guy is my favorite in the HP category, hands down, um, for epic because he adds a lot. He's not very expensive. Um, at least, I mean, to some people he's very expensive, but to me, I think he's the best bang for your buck. Next, we're gonna go to. Um, one that's in pick site, so the good thing is he's still readily available quite often is Bronze Nail. Um, he's a good beginner uh, beginner champion for people to use, but uh, he's also really good for super fuse HP. He has a total of 615 um, HP, which is awesome. He's roughly about 30 bidders, but the best thing is, is he's in pick site, so he's going to be around for a while. Um, hopefully they don't remove him because he's one of the staples that people use for multiple reasons. Um, but Bronze Nail, good overall. Next one is uh, Brandon Site the mayhem recolor the reason why i picked him was because um, i've used him before i like his price overall he's he's still very good they do re-release him on several occasions so he's been put back in the pool a few times and uh i don't think i'll ever find him here where are you i know you're around here there he is he adds a total of all right so he adds a total of 575 hp which is awesome uh, he's roughly around 25 bidders, which is the, the good part about him, and he does add quite a bit HP. Um, overall, I do like him uh, for HP fodder, not for anything else. <laughs> uh, and last we're going to pick is actually a rare. And the reason why I picked the air is because this guy is just a solid HP guy. Um, Acidijos, I guess how you spell it, just basically ass. So the Red Demon, basically, he adds a total of 365 HP. Um, which is awesome. You can get him pretty cheap if you don't buy him fully leveled. Um, normally, when he's fully leveled, he's roughly around 14 bidders, level 60 out of 60. Um, this guy I've used for multiple occasions for different fighters. Um, 365 HP is awesome, uh, and he's cheap. He's probably your best bet if you're not looking to spend a ton of money and you want HP. This guy. Uh, that's the reason why I took him over uh, any other epic for the, the last spot. Just because I like him a lot and he, he's used quite often. They re-release him all the time, which keeps the pool full, which is awesome. Overall, I really like that guy. He's really good to keep using. Next is Agility. We have a new Agility King that took over last time for Superfuse. A real uh, total of 722 Agility gets added for each one. Uh, he's only around 40 bidders right now. I do expect him to go up in price, unfortunately, eventually, once uh, a lot of him are used up. Uh, so, overall, though, you really um, just buy this guy if you need agility. <laughs> we really could just stop there, but we'll keep going. Um, the next one is Quag Gutter. Let's see where he is right here. He has a total of 542 agility. Now, he's roughly 30 bidders. Uh, Really, to be honest with you, spend the extra 10 bidders and buy a real. Um, but for right now, that's the case. Maybe later down the road, Quag Gutter will still be cheap and a real will be quite a bit more expensive. So for right now, um, I'd still go with a real over Quag Gutter. But I think in the future, that could potentially change, which is the reason why I decided to put Quag Gutter in there. Uh, next one is Kikovol. Uh, awesome thing about this, he's in invite ID right now, so they put him back in there for us again super fast. He has 518, and he's only around 12 bidders. So this guy, bang for buck, uh, this is probably one of your best ones because he's super cheap right now. I don't expect him to stay at that price forever or very long. Um, if you need some agility fodder down the road, you might want to grab maybe three of them now because he's only around 12 each, uh, roughly. And honestly, I might buy a couple too just to have. 
because that's really cheap. Um, the next guys, honestly, they don't even matter because they're literally uh, outclassed by Kikoval right now, being the price wise. But um, the recolor of the Firebird, Uruku, Rusu, however you want to say it, he has 466 agility. Now he's roughly 25 bidders. Um, so, really, like I said, you wouldn't really buy him. You'd really buy the other one. But maybe down the road, that'll change when he's more expensive. And last one, I picked another rare, and for the same reason, um, it added quite a bit of agility. Uh, and this fighter basically is almost free. It's, you really don't even have to pay much for it. So, Evan Glory. Honestly, you probably have a couple already. They're super easy to get from PickSite. Um, people literally try to get next to nothing for them. I've seen 5 out of 5s up for one bidder. Um, so you pretty much can get these for pretty much nothing. Um, it actually probably costs you more to level them, to be honest with you, than it does to uh, than, than it does to actually buy them. Um, because I actually go through trades and I look for people that have level 60 out of 60 rares up, and I do purchase them. Uh, they are amazing XP fodder when you don't have it. I usually buy them for anywhere from uh, one to five bidders, depending on how high a level they are. Um, but getting off track there. But Evan Glory adds 245 uh, agility, and he's basically free. Um, if you want to super few something with agility, but you don't want to really spend money, just either use the guy you have, because you might already have a couple of them, or just buy one for super cheap. Don't overpay for this guy. He, literally, you can get them practically free. <laughs> uh, next category, uh, Wisdom. Um, but to, who wins the the agility one? It would be Key Caval. He would have to be the winner there easily. Um, being so cheap right now and adding over 500 agility is awesome. Uh, Wisdom. Wisdom I unfortunately only have four players for. Um, the reason why is because uh, the last one pretty much wins the boat uh, because of the price. But uh, Pineapple, uh, which her real name is uh, Pinpilia. Panpilia? Pin Panpilia. Something like that. Anyways, she's the queen now. She has 847 Wisdom. But she's not cheap because uh, she roughly costs around 150 bidders, roughly. There wasn't really any 5 out of 5s up. I just had to go off of what was price-wise. She's going to be fairly harder to get uh, because she's actually still a really good fighter. For some reason, you want a ton of agility. You get three of these, and you'll be set. Um, that would be basically what I would suggest doing. Um, next one is uh, Wendelin Rose. She had 635 um, she's roughly about 80 bidders. This one's a little bit more acceptable price-wise, so you're not uh, breaking the bank to get some of them. Um, reason why she's still kind of high in price is because of the fodder and she has use. Uh, the next one is pretty easy. It is uh, Gerard. I don't know. I'm horrible at names. But anyways, he has roughly 576 and about 40 bidders. I would probably buy this one over Wendell and Rose. Um, it's not much of a drop, and it's about half the price, which um, when you're trying to, to buy stuff, you could buy two to one ratio there, so probably go with that. But my fallback, the one I always go with, and the one that uh, I pick that wins the Wisdom uh, class for me is good old Jinax. Uh, the reason why, Jinax is in Pixite. All the new players get a, basically a free Gen X or five of them or one of them. I don't know. Anyways, they at least get one of these Gen X for free. You literally can buy them for like one bidder each. Um, if you want to buy them piece by piece, you can typically buy a five out of five for 10 bidders. You typically can buy level 80 out of 80 for uh, 20 bidders. So if you don't want to waste uh, fodder uh, leveling it up, you can just basically buy them for 20 bidders each. 479 wisdom uh, is amazing. Um, well, not, it's not amazing, amazing, but to me, it's good enough for me because the price is so low. I love uh, Gen-X, so that's what I go with. And lastly, defense. Unfortunately, defense is really hard. Um, it, it is a really tough category, and I don't know what to tell you. Because um, there's several here. I mean, these first guys here you could use. This guy, hard to find. This guy's hard to find now. Bittner's hard to find. Uh, you can buy this guy, but he's expensive because he's used in events. He's an exploder. Um, this guy is hard to find. So, I mean, it's like, it's like, man, what do you do? What do you pick? Um, we're going to go back to the first place person in a little bit because it's actually one of this event's fighters. But um, I basically had to go with three. One I went with was uh, this guy here, the green fire boar. He had 630 defense. He's roughly 30 bidders. 
Uh, this one's probably about your best option, um, as well as the the pink blob dude, uh, Legolas. We're gonna call him that. Uh, 575 defense, and he's only about 20 bitters. This one's probably about what you want to go with, to be honest. But if you need some defensive powerhouse and you need some defense on a guy for some reason, this is your guy. This guy adds more super fusion than any guy on my list, and we all know who I'm already talking about. Um, it is uh, par uh, not par it is Baraz's mount, and we're not going to scroll here, so it's going to take a minute. It is uh, Tuser. He has 926 defense. Insane. It's an insane amount. Price-wise, I have no clue how much he's going to cost, guys. Um, just have to wait and see. Uh, if you want a defensive champion, you go with that guy. If you need defensive super fuse spotter and price is not uh, in the equation, then you go with Tuser. Uh, he is ridiculous and amazing. But that's it for my super fusion list, guys. Um, I know you guys were waiting for this for a while. A lot of you, like I said, I directed you to Wanderers TJ's uh, thread because it's amazing. Uh, like I said, there'll be another link here right now, and then at the in the video description will be the link to his thread. He does update it every event uh, quite often, so hit him up, give him a plus one to reputation if you could, help him out. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and share. Thanks, guys.